Hey everyone, welcome back to our playthrough of Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword, Caveman to Cosmos. We're about to start up turn 195. We need to come up with another thing to build in Narlo City. They're going to finish their clay pit next turn. I think we are going to put a tracker online. Get that going, and then after that is built, I believe that we will go with the bandit's hideout. We'll think about it a little more in the turns to come, but I believe that's the way we're going to go. So, here we are. We got eight turns to domestic canine domestication. And let us get the game underway. See if anything attacks us. Alright. Some movement going on, but nothing that absolutely set out to do us any harm. Okay, we've got the people up there. They're going to come down that chain. Correct? No, they're not. They can't get by there, can they? Okay, so that's what's got them blocked off. We can't get over in that area at all until we get some kind of a boat. So, let's move one more space this way. Make sure we've seen everything over in that little area there. Alright, these dudes. We got the India. Let's move them on over. Okay. Our scout. It's a question of what part of the desert does he want to go in? And we got there a cobra. He has got some nice bonuses. I think we can stand being in the scrub there. And we can stand being in the scrub there long enough for possibly to get the cobra attack us without worrying too much about what uh, bonuses that we may have to ignore. There we go. Come on, take him out, take him out. True. Okay. What is that, Oryx? Right, we killed the Oryx. And he's been moved up to Woodsman 3. Okay, very good. Right, over here, we are going to continue our northward journey. I'm really interested in Persia, but let's continue on north, away from the Neanderthals there. We can at least find out what was on that point. Cobra over here. How damaged are we? We're not too bad, but damaged enough that we need to heal up. Hey, we're good for three turns over here. starting to expand there. I got a feeling that they would be ahead of me if I hadn't had the luck of getting that settler that I did, the tribe that I did in a uh, native hut. Oh, everybody likes attacking that scout. Alright, killed yet another one. And what advantage do we want now? Let's go with Promotion Hunter, so he can continue getting experience from all these animals that seem to be wanting a piece of his skin. And another volcano. Okay, the scout's got this corner taken. How about we send our warriors? Hmm. Ain't no place for them to go there either, is there? We may 
maybe achieving the limits of what we can explore on this map. And we still got some wilderness over here on this side though, so probably more than just the scout himself can explore. Okay, next turn we'll have to look at our cities again. Oh, it's actually this turn, isn't it? Um, okay, I'm going to examine the different options here, and I should be back with you in just a moment. Okay, looking at what all we've got going on in the city, we are going to go with a clay pit. I didn't know we didn't have one in there already. Let's get some extra hammers going. And then we will continue on down the chain here. All right. Now you boys. What do y'all need to do? Again, y'all can't go up there, so... I wonder if we can... I don't think we can make it down that way either. Hmm. All right. While those two head off into the great unknown, y'all get down here and clear up some of these black areas on that part of the map. Oh, I think I have a gorilla over there. Turns to canine domestication. Oh, there's the gorilla attacking. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to heal up. Should only take probably one turn. And desert. Right, the hills will be okay if we don't have any other options of where to go after that. Two turns to getting doggies. Yay! Three turns to tracker. Tornby has completed his greatest work, the wealthiest civilizations of the world. We are number two with Ahsoka of the Indians, number one. Okay. Dom Pedro of the Brazilians are behind us, and Hannibal is behind him. Okay. Um, where are we gonna go? Camels, fresh water. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go up there without taking some serious damage. So let's come on over here. We'll probably have to uh, fortify up next turn. Definitely got some nice spots to consider in the future for where we want to go with uh, any future cities. See how the city's coming. And I'm going to look at the big picture for research here and see where I'm wanting to go after canine domestication. I'm thinking I want to go down that chain right after soft hammer percussion with the chopping, piercing, and scraping, but I'm going to have a look with everything here to be sure. And we'll be back with you as soon as we've made a choice. Alright, looking at where we were going, we're definitely going to go down the the uh, triumvirate here of chopping, piercing, and scraping. Not only does each one of us give us another beaker, but they also lead to carving, 
which will give us another beaker plus the workers will improve 25% faster and they will go to fine edge tools which will give us a hammer plus workers will build 25% faster and we can always use faster workers so let's see scraping to carving that's 8 and 11 piercing to fine edge tools is 8 and 11 so it really doesn't matter which one however piercing will get the spiked clubman so that's where we're going to go next alright anything else we'll have another tracker coming out of Narlo City here in a moment Disappointed in the tracker that they're just not getting stuff to kill. Let's heal you up for the moment. You got more desert to cross. I'm seeing. Ooh. Is that a good place? 50%. Okay, that's not too bad. And I'm seeing smoke coming, but that's the uh, volcano we already know about. Okay. Let us see what we want to build after the tracker. Okay, we're going to bite the bullet. I'm going to go ahead and build that bandit's hideout. It's going to be 20 turn, two turns to get there, but it's just been staring me in the face. And I want to try playing with the, start playing with some of the uh, rogue elements and see what this crime thing is all about that the kids keep talking about these days. We are going to get our first population point in one turn. What are we fighting? Some other kind of lizard? A pheasant? Wow. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I keep getting my fingers on the wrong keys here sometimes when I'm not looking down and paying close attention. Okay, we found him again. He's not damaged. Clubman is still sitting there. He's at a strength of two. Oops, I mean the scout here. Sitting at a strength of two, although we got Neanderthals on one side. We got the hawk on the other. Where can he go? Plus 50 bonus, plus 50, plus 10. Hmm, yeah, let's get him down here. Get the plus, oof, ho, 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 ho. That wasn't good. Now he's got a bear as well. Sorry, fella. You make it through that, you get a name. That's all there is to it. Okay. Where are we going to go? Fair, all these other cultures that got all the clear land around them and have been given the ability to expand. Meanwhile, we've got all this jungle and everything. Alright, Narlagrad will grow to size 2 on the next turn. Yes, it shall. skill or something going on. We will continue on. I don't want to wait and waste a couple of turns of his movement. Okay. If we can get you up in that direction. Salt flats. Okay. We'll do that because we wouldn't go any further anyhow. 
strong slowpoke. You, you are just bad. Hmm. What promotion do we want for you? I don't think we've had that one yet, have we? And we've got an awful lot of woods for you to explore, so that's where we're going to go. You are going to bunker down and heal up. And I am going to give you a name. We're going to take a book, a page out of Patton's book. fingers on the right keys again. You are the magnificent SOB. Alright, one more turn until we get clay pits. Oh, it's turn 204. I didn't notice we had passed our bicentennial already. Let's see where people are located. Go ahead. Get you off the screen there. Let's see where they have decided to put my extra worker in Narlograd. Okay, that's acceptable. Very good. I can live with that. And I'm going to take a quick look through and see what I want to build next. And go get me a cup of coffee. And I'll be right back. Okay, looking over the city and everything, we are going to go with a dance hut. Um, the thing that's going to hold us back next is our happiness rating. Plus, that's going to give us some culture so we can get those borders expanding a little bit quicker as well. So a dance hut will be... Whoops. Nope. See, I did it again. Dance hut next turn, not now. There we go. Turn 205. Ooh, somebody was over there looking at us. Well, things moving around. Nothing going to attack you right now. Nothing yet. Let's let Magnificent SOV sit there and heal up some more. Everybody continues moving eastwardly. Obsidian. Very sweet. Alright, I think we're going to go probably until we get piercing. Move on to the next technology. Wow. While defending, your magnificent SOB has killed a Neanderthalus, but then he was destroyed by an eagle. Oh. Alright gentlemen, we're going to take a moment here and, and mourn the passing of the magnificent SOB. What are we after? That is a vulture. Go ahead and take out the vulture. Such a shame. Magnificent had done so well, too. Well, we got a pigeon. It's about as scary as a pheasant. <sighs> Such a shame. What was it that took us out? We were taken out by an eagle. That's why, yes, these pigeons and pheasants, when I say so scary, I really mean so scary. And they move way too fast. Eventually, the random number generator has to come back to bite you there. 
just like it did that time whenever uh, that volcano took out that village. It happens. Alright, that guy's going to have a target next time. What we got? Is that giraffe? It is. Wow. Hmm. Let's go Woodsman 2. Yeah. Still got enough Woodsman units. Let's fortify up. Piercing in 2. Subdue to Viper. Excellent. And killed an Aardvark. It was time that they got back into the game. Started doing something. Very good. Let's get on down here and see if we can find some more game for you to hunt. Alright. What do we have? A Viper. We can still use it to construct the Myth of Reptiles. What do we have over here? No, not you. Him. Let's just move you on over into Narlo City for safekeeping, shall we? Piercing in one turn. So we get probably that dance hut. We need to create another unit. Get some more uh, people out there. Place that poor tracker. Alright, there's our old Albert Einstein quote again. We get a beaker with a stone tool maker. Leads to fine edge tools, bone working, simple woodworking, and a spiked clubman. Good. I thought we had that one already. Oh, Lord, we clicked on that without finishing up canine domestication, didn't we? Oh, blast. Well, I've got to remember to... Got to, got to remember to start shift-clicking. of Rome here. We have been godlike in our planned breeding of our domesticated plants and animals, but we have been rabbit-like in our unplanned breeding of ourselves. Arnold Toynbee. Alright, we can do nomadic herds, we should see any cows, goes to livestock domestic whole bunch of units, whole bunch of buildings, and the nomadic herd and cow improvements. So, where were we going? Chopping or scraping after this? I'm going to take a look at the big picture here. And we'll see exactly which one gives us the best bang for our buck. Okay, we are definitely going to go scraping next. Then... We are going to go to, hmm, interesting, skinning and a hunter's camp. We're going to go to carving to get the improvements plus the ability to build meager culture. And then I'm thinking fine edge tools after that, which we'll need chopping for as well. All right. So we've definitely got our next few turns settled as far as our research is concerned. All right, we got cows here. Do we have any, any up in this area? No, of course not. We have dyes and stuff. We have a bunch of luxury goods. Oh, why couldn't it have given it to us closer? Okay, there's some cows way over there next to Brazil, which is going to continue stretching out their little tentacles probably take it over. Let's 
Let's see what Rome is up to. That gives us damage, but I wanted to get that last little dark corner taken out. Good. They can go after that eagle. Eagle next turn. Alright. Seven turns till anything interesting happens up north. Congratulations! You have connected your first city with your capital. Because the cities are connected, they will share resources and increase their commerce. Very good. Yeah, I don't need to know that y'all are helping out the Carthaginians. Okay, so our gatherers actually have nothing to do at the moment. They are recommending that we come down here. What are y'all recommending that we do up there? Excuse me. Let's go back up here. See our ladies. A stone tool workshop. Interesting. That is a decent idea. Okay. You move over here. get somewhere you're not taking damage every turn. That's a good spot. Then you can heal up. Rome looks like they're doing fairly well, taking a uh, Still population one. We are still definitely the most advanced tribe. Of course, we are only playing on, what's this, chieftain level? Warlord, whatever the second most level is. Um, stone tool workshop. A hammer and a gold. 32 turns. Why not? Okay, the viper. We are going to let you... Honestly, sit here until we have something else to do with you been told there are some other Nardvark and Neanderthals. been told there are other things that can open up with animals. I've seen people use them for a menagerie and like a uh, governor's pet or something like that. I believe it was called. So I'll store him away for now since there isn't a huge amount of stuff we can do with him. I don't want to butcher him or anything like that. Oh my lord. You are getting rather um, backed up over here, aren't you? See, I don't want to attack across there and take out that Aardvark because the next turn, chances are pretty likely, they would come along and take out me. So why don't we go here? That'll keep us on the Aardvark's radar. Perhaps it'll want to attack us. These boys will come take out the Cobra. The Cobra withdraws. The Aardvark run away, did it? Was it nice? You can stand some healing. Okay, you're back to normal. Three more turns and we'll have scraping. I think that's the point at which we will probably have about locals give sanctuary to wounded Brazilian. We're the Renfesters when I need them. I've only ever had them the one time. Seems like everybody else making nicey nicey with everybody All right, scraping next turn and then we will see if we can't it's more like snakes kill the viper alright there's our friend the aardvark back 
as our not so friends, the Neanderthals, back. That is not good survival odds. We'll move over here on this hill. That'd be great odds there. What's our defensive bonus up here? 25%, well, 50%. We'll do that. It's kind of risky with the Neanderthals there. Yeah. Yeah. We killed an Aardvark. Alright, Viper, you go to sleep for a little while. Yet another Viper. Hopefully not end up with a bear's nest here. Those potatoes. Cool. I know we had potatoes in the game. Dites-moi ce que je dois faire. I'm on the end of tiles. All right, we are okay on that. One turn till scraping. Go ahead and get that. And let's see if the Neanderthals attack us. We actually did not take any damage from the art mark. There. Very good. Our Albert Einstein quote again. It leads to carving, skinning. We get the plus. Um, one beaker with the stone tool maker. Excellent. And it's going to go straight into chopping. Okay, what do y'all need to do? Y'all need to get... Hunter, Hunter, Combat. Hmm, is that frogs? Oh, <laughs> wetland combat. Interesting. Hmm. We'll continue on. We got Hunter, Hunter, and let's go with Hunter. And then let's fortify you up and heal you up. You are still at full strength. Can't attack anything, though. So let's uncover some more territory. Looks like chickens. Anything going on here? I'm going to get that dance hut. And that's where we'll call it an episode. So one more round of turn moving everybody. Mm, that's in the desert. That's in the desert. I do like the little bones there. That is very cool. Let's move on up here. Get our dance hut now. Constructed a dance hut in Narlograd. Let us take a look at the city. Actually thinking we already got a bandit's hut going in the other one. Let's see here. Looking over all the options, we've got a number of units that require to have a dog breeder. So that's what we're going to build up next. That's going to give us uh, happiness, because who doesn't love dogs? It's going to give us health, and it's going to give us culture, and open up hunting dog trainer. So that is where we're going to go. It's going to take a while, 23 turns, but no one said that domesticating animals was easy. Okay, are healed up all right? Good. Okay, that's got everything done for this turn. That's turn 219. Next time up will be turn 220, and that's where we will continue onward. Thank you all for watching. Hope you found it enjoyable. I've had a lot of fun, and we will catch you next time.